The Islamic radicals from ISIS have unleashed a brutal wave of suicide attacks in Iraq. Well, critics are asking, does the Obama administration know what it's doing? Does it have a strategy to defeat ISIS? So far, ISIS has taken over key cities in both Iraq and Syria, while the White House is still trying to come up with a way to stop the deadly terrorists. Gary Lane has that story. Iraqi Prime Minister al-Abadi is confident Iraqi troops can liberate the strategic city of Ramadi from the Islamic State. I assure you, assure you we can bring it back uh, soon. I'm talking about days now. But a number of U.S. officials and strategists are questioning Iraq's will and the Obama administration's commitment to defeat ISIS. As they did in Mosul last summer, Iraqi troops fled Ramadi when Islamic State fighters overran the city. That led to harsh criticism from U.S. Defense Secretary Ashton Carter. The Iraqi forces just showed no will to fight. Uh, they were not outnumbered. Uh, in fact, they vastly outnumbered the opposing force, and yet they failed to fight. But many analysts are asking, who really lacks the will to confront ISIS, the Iraq army or the Obama administration? The head of Iran's elite Quds force of the Revolutionary Guard, General Qasim Soleimani, put the blame on the United States, suggesting that the U.S. formed a coalition and hasn't done a thing to defeat ISIS. He said America doesn't have the will to confront them. And now a growing number of military strategists, both inside and outside the Pentagon, are questioning the president's approach of fighting ISIS with only limited U.S. airstrikes. According to the Washington Times, one Defense Department counterterrorism official asked, what strategy? We are now floating along, reacting to ISIS. Others question the administration's rules of engagement for the airstrikes. One former Pentagon official told the Times that combat pilots can linger over targets for hours before approval comes to strike. And there's reportedly growing concern about the U.S. not getting advanced weapons to the Kurdish Peshmerga fighters. It's one Iraqi force willing to fight with proven success on the battlefield. But critics say the U.S. isn't doing enough to support them. And even though ISIS has made numerous gains in recent weeks, not only in Iraq, but also in Syria, the White House still claims its policy against ISIS is working. And the Iraqi government's wide-scale operation to defeat ISIS in Ramadi was well received at the White House. I think that is a clear indication of the will of the Iraqi security forces to fight. And the United States and our coalition partners uh, will stand with them as they do so. But how firmly they stand and whether it will be enough to defeat ISIS in Iraq and Syria will be apparent in the days and weeks ahead. Gary Lane, CBN News.